Again, all we know at this point is that uh, the high pressure oxidizer turbo pump discharge temperature exceeded the red line value on main engine number three. Uh, we anticipate that it'll be uh, a few hours before we get any more specifics as to why it exceeded the red line value. Uh, mission managers are at this point meeting uh, here in the Launch Control Center to uh, further discuss it, to get more information from the uh, uh, engine experts and to then uh, follow up with a plan of action for what we will do with Endeavour and Mission STS-68 uh, from this point on. We're going to once again show you while we wait for the rest of the astronauts to come out a we picture that, of what it uh, looked like when the engine uh, shut down about an hour ago. We've had situations like this, and this has occurred uh, four times before. We've got seven. We have a go for main engine start. We have three main engines running. Three, two, one. And have main engine cut off. GLS safety is in progress. GLS safety is in progress. Path 101, DFS loaded to 102, LED shows one. That was at 6.54 Eastern Time, about an hour ago. The countdown clock has stopped. CDR performed BFS safety. The, this evening, that decision, of course, will have to be made today on uh, whether we will roll out. Um, that was astronaut Dan Bursch, who just got out, third of the six astronauts to leave. First. So uh, these are some uh, tasks that the mission managers will be addressing over the next uh, couple of days. Um, meanwhile, back on Endeavour, we do have uh, another uh, of our uh, six astronauts have, has uh, left the vehicle and will be uh, standing by for the remaining astronauts to uh, disembark and to and then return back to their crew quarters and then ultimately on back to the Johnson Space Center um, as a decision on this flight is made. So things are in a uh, fairly significant flux down at uh, the Kennedy Space Center and NASA headquarters, I'm sure, in Washington and at the Johnson Space Center in Texas as mission managers decide to do what, uh, decide what to do next. Paul Karen, you heard um, what our uh, NASA commentator, uh, Bruce Buckingham, was just telling us about all this. Have you gotten any more information? Well, we know that uh, this is certainly going to delay things, John, as far as uh, any upcoming launches, and that's not unprecedented. Uh, back last year, they first uh, tried to launch Discovery July 17th and had problems, and the delays pushed that launch all the way to September 12th, so we could possibly see a quite, uh, quite a long delay with the Space Shuttle Endeavor here. Well, oh, thanks. I, we've just, uh, I believe, gotten a phone call from NASA spokesman Jeff Carr, who says that Contrary to what astronauts have told me in the past, and I told you a few minutes ago, the temperature inside did not get up uh, um, to the, uh, any higher than a comfortable 74 degrees, which means these, uh, these astronauts are, no wonder they're smiling as they come out. And I, I do stand corrected. The information I was giving you was based on conversations I'd had with other astronauts about what it's like to be there on the pad. And of course, I haven't been, had a chance to talk to this crew. Anyway, three of the astronauts are now out. Three more um, yet to leave the shuttle. OTC Ast is on comp. In about three hours from right now, NASA promises that they will provide a news conference about 11 o'clock Eastern time with uh, mission managers, uh, probably launch director Bob Seek, mission manager Lauren Shriver, and others. To, uh, to give us what they know as of uh, 11 o'clock Eastern time on what went wrong, what caused it, and, um, and what's next for the shuttle. Now, uh, what we are told is that uh, a high-speed liquid oxygen turbo pump um, told the shuttle's computer that there was a problem. Here comes another one of the astronauts out. I'll try to tell you who as soon as I can recognize him. That's Jeff Weissoff, I believe. Jeff now coming out. Now um, the commander and the pilot, the only two astronauts left aboard. But back to this problem that caused the shutdown. 
the uh, high pressure oxygen turbo pump, which spins at about 24,000 revolutions a minute, uh, was telling the computer that it was getting too hot. And um, that's Bob Seek talking to uh, other people down there at the Kennedy Space Center. And I'm pleased to report to you now, contrary to something I suggested a few minutes ago, the temperature inside the crew cabin was maintained at 74 degrees for the astronauts, so uh, they, uh, they, they were not heated up to um, extraordinary levels by what's happened over the past few minutes. This, I'm going to guess, is uh, pilot Terrence Wysoff coming out, because the commander, who is shuttle launch control, will listen. Um, pilot Terry Wilcutt, pilot for Endeavour on mission STS-68, has just departed the crew module. And keeping with tradition and protocol, the commander, Mike Baker, will be the last of the crew to leave. Uh, once they are all out, they will depart the pad, uh, make their way back to the operations and checkout building where their crew quarters are located and then uh, discuss preparations for returning to Johnson Space Center. For those viewers just joining us after a local cable break, we'd like to remind you we're providing live coverage of a, a, a problem aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour, which caused um, a, a delay in the launch this morning. It's a problem that will probably uh, cause NASA to have to delay the launch of this Space Shuttle for at least 10 days to two weeks. At the moment that the shuttle uh, was expected to leave the Earth, in fact, uh, less than one second before the solid rocket boosters were scheduled to ignite, the three main engines shut down. The reason for that, we are told, was that the onboard computer detected a situation where one of the fuel pumps that pumps liquid oxygen down into uh, main engine number three's uh, combustion chamber uh, got too hot. At least the two temperature sensors indicated it was too hot. Here's pilot Mike Baker, the last of the six men aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavour, is now off the Space Shuttle Endeavour. I will breathe a sigh of relief. I'm sure the astronauts that are out of there now are... Uh, are much happier to be uh, away from that shuttle than on it at this particular point. That's the spokesman Jeff Carr who called uh, to uh, Commander Mike uh, Baker uh, help me he let you know that the temperature was comfortable in inside. Also right said that the shuttle maintained its endeavor. integrity through all of this. The other five members. Fifteen seconds. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. There. Eight, There's what we saw seven, about an hour ago. Start. As the three main engines started three and then shut down. Running. Three, two, one, and have main engine cut off. GLS safety is in progress. GLS safety is in progress. Path 101, BFS loaded to 102, LED shows one. And if you receive four miles of this board, GLS safety. Must be quite a disappointment for the, uh, the astronauts, the ground managers, um, that uh, they're not in orbit by now. But uh, I'm sure when we have a news conference by NASA, now scheduled for just under three hours from now, the managers will tell us the system worked exactly as it should, and um, it, it could have been bad had this engine uh, stopped shortly after the shuttle left, uh, left the launch pad. There are contingency plans, and, uh, and what would have happened uh, in an ideal circumstance had that particular, had the shuttle lifted off on schedule, had the computer not shut down the launch, and one of the engines failed, 
the shuttle would have to, uh, could still have actually made orbit with two of the three main engines working. And, uh, hmm. and if, uh, if there had been other problems, it could have landed in Africa, several landing strips there, or even come back to the Kennedy Space Center. That, none of that happened. The astronauts are now safely off the space shuttle Endeavour. Those are ground crew members who are working there to uh, make sure the crew cabin is, is now uh, secure and equipment that was put in there earlier is taken off. It'll be a couple of weeks before we get to sit here and talk about uh, the launch of this space shuttle at least. And uh, we'll have more explanation as to what happened and why as CNN's news continues. Daybreak.